Lake Region State College graduates, families, faculty, and staff. This graduating class is living through a moment in history that will continue to define who they are and how they showed strength during challenging times. This spring, Lake Region State College faculty and students were given a small window of time to transition from face-to-face -face classrooms to distance delivery. The quick response by our faculty and the fast adaptation by our students was nothing short of extraordinary. Repeatedly, we've seen kindness, creativity, compassion, and resiliency from our students, faculty, and staff. It shows once again that this campus lives by the phrase, we change lives. I can't help but feel proud at how Lake Region State College's faculty, staff, and students face the COVID-19 challenge. One thing is for certain, this year's resilient graduates and the challenges we all face together changed my life. The class of 2020 has earned a very special place in my heart. As this semester ends, signaling the end of your educational degree path at Lake Region State College, I want to say thank you. Thank you for choosing Lake Region State College. Thank you for the way you handled the challenges brought about by COVID-19 pandemic. I'm honored that you saw in Lake Region State College the opportunity for a high quality education. The students listed in this video have met the requirements for graduation from Lake Region State College. We honor your achievement. I'm confident that Lake Region State College graduates will go on to enjoy rewarding careers in their fields of study or achieve further academic goals. Please accept our heartfelt congratulations and best wishes to the graduates of the class of 2020. Good afternoon, President Darling, faculty, staff, parents, family, friends, and most importantly, the graduating class of Lake Region State College. On behalf of the State Board of Higher Education, let me congratulate you on your educational achievements. One of the high points of each semester are these events that serve as milestones of your success. As chair of the State Board, I can attest that each member takes our responsibility seriously in setting the direction of the university system because we're doing it for you, the student, and your success. It's with great pride that we hold these commencement ceremonies where we celebrate together your hard work and dedication. Having lived and worked in North Dakota for many years, I've been able to watch as our colleges and universities adapt to ongoing change. Throughout changing times, we continue to have pride in the accomplishments made by the leadership, faculty, and staff because we know their dedication brings student success. No matter what your educational goals, whether you're transitioning directly into your career or using this degree as a stepping stone to further your education, we are confident that you'll do well because you've proven you can work hard, think critically, and show up. As Woody Allen puts it, 80% of success is showing up. Whatever your next step, you're moving on from a big phase of your life to meet new challenges and opportunities. Thank you for placing your trust in this institution. We applaud your accomplishments and we are confident that the education you've received will give you a competitive edge in your career and life. Your readiness to take personal responsibility of your future has led to this success. 2020, Lake Region State College graduating class of Royals. You've made it. You've shown up and you are prepared to meet the challenges ahead while already finding ways to give back to your campus and community. For that, North Dakota thanks you. You should be extremely proud of every step it took to reach today and every step you take hereafter. Congratulations and job well done. Welcome to our first ever Salute to Graduates Video Awards segment. I am Lloyd Halverson, Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs. 
I am privileged to recognize the extraordinary achievement of our Lake Region State College graduates. Our first award is the Glenn H. Larson Memorial Drama Award. This award is presented to a student deemed to have made the most significant contribution to theater during the current school year. The 2020 recipient of this award is Miriam Sullivan. Congratulations, Miriam. Each year, Lake Region State Colleges recognizes the leadership and achievements of its graduates by recognizing them with the Who's Who Award. Students must be nominated by faculty and staff with the winners chosen by a committee. The award recognizes students for achievement in the areas of scholarship, leadership, citizenship, participation in LRSC and community activities, and their potential for future service. The names of these students are permanently inscribed on a plaque in our Hall of Fame. Our first recipient is Roxanne Chickas. Roxanne has earned her LPN certificate along with her associate degree in nursing. She is an excellent student in both GPA and leadership. She has been actively involved in the student nurse organization throughout the last two years. Her positive personality and attitude gets her fellow classmates involved in community activities. She has continued to keep upbeat even in these tough times. Roxy is one of the best examples of the spirit of Lake Region State College. Congratulations, Roxanne. Jakenda Short. In her two years at LRSC, Jakenda has been an active member of the Royals volleyball team and has served as co-president of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. She is instrumental in Project Blankets, an on-campus event making blankets for children removed from their homes suddenly. She was a true and faithful member all three semesters being involved in every activity PTK sponsored. She was also part of the group to do study abroad and was active in promoting it to the students. She truly exemplifies the heart of an LRSC student. In addition to the Who's Who honor, Jakenda was one of only two LRSC students named to the All North Dakota Academic Team. Congratulations Jakenda. Stephanie Miller Stephanie has been a great example of the LR family. She is a, had a 4.0 GPA in both years at Lake Region State College and has been a poster child for LRSC on and off the basketball court. She was team captain, first team all Mondak Conference, and all Region 13 team both years. Steph was also picked top 40 NJCAA women's basketball player last summer and was a twice named to the all Mondak academic team. She participated in royal treatment events at her high school both years at LRSC. Congratulations, Stephanie. Rachel Hill. Rachel was a valued member of the Royals volleyball team, Royal Ambassadors, and Public Relations Officer for PTK. She quietly led by example with both her academics and extracurricular activities. Rachel shared her experience by speaking at a scholarship recognition dinner this past spring. She provided leadership in support of the Travel Abroad program and was part of the team in student services helping in the registrar's office. Congratulations, Rachel. Mark Nienheis. Mark has been an enthusiastic student in the Precision Egg program. He has been a royal ambassador for two years. He has been a great role model for other ambassadors in his enthusiasm for Lake Region State College and the ambassador program. Mark has also been an involved member of PTK. Mark showed leadership in all his classes, but very significantly in both English and communications. Congratulations, Mark. Wilson Howard has been on the President's List every semester thus far. He was a member of PTK and served as a math tutor for TRIO. His knowledge and patience displayed while working with and or tutoring students was exemplary. Wilson is a top-notch student who did not shy away from the tougher courses offered at Lake Region State College while still maintaining a perfect GPA. He plans to further his education at North Dakota State University pursuing a degree in agricultural engineering. Congratulations, Wilson. Jack Schaefer. Jack is an outstanding student who has consistently shown academic promise by being named to either the Dean's List or President's List throughout his college career. Jack is kind, hardworking, and compassionate. He puts others before himself always and is willing to go the extra mile. During the online conversion this spring semester, Jack had to adjust, as any student had to, but with hard work, dedication, and determination, he persevered. Jack has maintained both a full load of credits and a job on campus while maintaining his GPA and dedication to his studies. 
Congratulations, Jack. Ashley Schuster. Ashley was on LRSC's volleyball team, another place where she provided invaluable leadership and encouragement. Other examples of Ashley's leadership include being a Royal Ambassador, giving tours to prospective students, helping at Royal Treatment Dates and getting things organized for events. Ashley was also in PTK and participated as a tutor. Ashley always participated in class presentations that usually led to her being the leader of the group. Congratulations, Ashley. Joseph Stapleton. Joseph participated in LRSC's Collegiate DECA Club for the past two years, serving as the president for the club this past year. He served as a Royal Ambassador at LRSC this past year, assisting with many campus tours and events. Joseph has really stepped up his role on LRSC's campus over the last two years. He thoroughly embraced his role as president for the Collegiate DECA chapter and showed great leadership for the club. He is an excellent student and is always available to lend a hand when needed. He will be genuinely missed at LRSC next year. Congratulations, Joseph. Emily Eback was very busy at LRSC. She participated in LRSC's Collegiate DECA Club, serving as the secretary for the club this past year. She served as a Royal Ambassador at LRSC, assisting with tours and campus events. She was a member of Phi Theta Kappa, Crew, the Royal Rhythms, and LRSC play Playmakers. Not only is Emily an excellent asset to our campus, she is also an outstanding student and all-around person. She always has a smile on her face and was usually the first person to volunteer when something needed to get done. In addition to this who's who designation, Emily is also the 2020 recipient of the Lloyd-Jones Memorial Music Award. Congratulations, Emily. The Richard D. Kanoki Award for Outstanding Leadership is provided to one who's who graduate that demonstrated outstanding leadership while attending Lake Region State College. This year's graduate award winner is Michaela Osborne. Michaela has been a go-getter since the day she first walked on campus during orientation. She was a Royal Ambassador and quickly became one of our go-to tour guides. She was also a member of Campus Crusade for Christ and Student Senate. She is friendly and relatable and did a great job with every tour she provided for future LRSC students. Her sophomore year, she was elected the president of the Royal Ambassadors and has done a great job in her leadership role. She spearheaded the Operation Shoebox project on campus, gathering supplies for needy children, and she helped coordinate the delivery of blankets during our blanket project. She was very active in crew and went on a mission trip her freshman year. She was a true leader on and off campus. In addition, Michaela was named to the All North Dakota Academic Team. Congratulations, Michaela, and congratulations to all of our award winners. May you have successful careers. Thank you.